Summer days, I still remember your name. Summer days, sweet fragrance just smells the same. Make better days, this for next. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm really excited about today's video. It's going to be a tutorial review and uh, swatches of the new Juvia's Place Wahala palette. This is the box that it came in. Um, so pretty. So I did get an email with like an early access to this palette and I got free shipping. The shipping came super quick. I think it took about all of, well, the day I placed the order, it shipped out that same day and I got it about three days later. So this is what the box looks like. Um, and it says, Wahala is a, is a Nigerian word, a transition for drama, trouble, and intensity. Often used as a word and a slang in Nigerian pidgin English. So sorry. Um, our drama palette is a par powerful selection of contrasting colors, which exemplifies our inner struggles and beliefs, defending and owning your beauty in an artistic way. So this palette has some pressed pigments, some glitters, um, something we haven't seen from Juvia's Place before. On the side, I'll put like pricing and like how much product you get and things like that. Um, the website did say that it was limited edition, um, but the when I saw pictures of this palette, I wasn't that intrigued. Um, but I got it anyway because I know you guys would be interested in it. And then when I saw it in person, I fell in love. The pictures does this palette absolutely no justice. So we're going to be using this for our eye look today. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. This eye look is going to be super simple, but I want it to be drama filled um at the same time so i'm just gonna pull my hair back and for base this time i normally when i'm using large pops of color i will use my mac paint pot but i'm gonna try something a little different um, i got this mini anastasia eyeshadow primer i did not know it was a mini when i ordered it so i'm a little disappointed about that but i'm gonna use my abh primer to prime my eyes because um i just recently got it in the mail so i'm gonna prime my oh this is pigmented this is a pigmented eyeshadow. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know that it would be this pigmented. Use a brush. That caught me off guard. It's really sloppy. But none of my eyes are all primed. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with the palette. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what I wanna do. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Um, I have started to do an eye look on this eye. I find this eye probably looks a little weird. And I did not like it. Like a few minutes in, I just didn't like it. So I stopped and I came up with this eye. Still pretty easy, but it reminds me of like a mermaid type look. Anyway. I like this eye a lot better, so we're just gonna recreate this eye on this eye. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Um, and don't worry, it's still really simple. Like, I like simple makeup. And that's okay. So, I'm gonna go back in with my ABH eyeshadow base. We're gonna go into the palette. We're first gonna use the shade, we're first gonna use the shade Love which is a matte, like, oceany blue. And I'm gonna go in with that shade. It's really pigmented. Like, this is one of the most pigmented blue shadows that I have ever used. Like, are you kidding me? And it's so pretty. So we're gonna go in with Love and blend that in and above the crease. And I'm going to bring it inwards a little bit into my inner corner. And I'm going to blend this outward. This shade does not require a lot of blending. It's, this shade is so pretty. This is one of the prettiest 
blue eyeshadows I've ever used. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk like pencil brush, super slim. Um, but you can use whatever pencil brush you have. And I'm going to go in the, into the shade. I'm going to go into the shade BU. This shade right here, it's just a really regular uh, deep wine purple color. And I'm going to pack that on to my brush. Really saturate it on there. And then I'm going to blend this directly into my crease, like right in that indentation where your eye socket is. Just like go back and forth windshield wiper motions. And then I'm going to slowly start to bring it upward to blend it into the love shade that we use. You could do this with the fluffy brush if you would like, just with a pencil brush. It helps me be more precise, um, but you do whatever is comfortable for you. And once that's well blended or the way I want it to be, I'm going to go back into my ABH primer and I'm going to just quickly cut my crease, which I'm not the best at, but... I like the way it looks, so. I'm not the best at cutting my crease, but. Ooh. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to cover it anyway. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back into that BU shade with our pencil brush. I'm just going to blend over that line we just created a little bit. Just going to help everything just be more cohesive. More cohesive. And like I said, we're just going to cover it up anyway. So but you still want some of that purple to peek out. And then we're going to take one of my favorite shades in the whole palette, which is, is so pretty. It's called Fighter. It's like this green right here, like a mossy green, and there's a shimmer shade. That shade is gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty, you guys. So I'm going to take Fighter, and I'm going to... Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. And I'm going to blend that blend that on the first half of my lid it's so pretty and then i'm gonna take my trusty Too faced glitter glue and take like a like not even a pea size and i'm gonna dab this on this back end because i realized that these glitters don't stick without a glitter glue at least for me it didn't they didn't stick. They kind of just fell off. And the glitter we're going to use is called, forgive me, but Yanga, Yanga. It's this one up here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? So pretty. And th these are like a chunkier glitter. They're not like the... They're just a little more chunky, which I don't really mind. And just try to blend the blend over the line so it's not too harsh. And then for the silver that I did, I just used this NYX glitter, um, glitter liquid crystal liner in the shade Crystal Silver. I've had this forever. I got it from like my local beauty supply store. So I'm going to use that to go into the crease. 
and it's just gonna make everything kind of pop and wing it out now with this you're gonna have to do like two coats to get it to really show but it dries super quick so So for the lower lash line, I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, I want to kind of keep it cohesive. So I'm going to go back into that love shade, which is the shade we used um, in the crease. And I'm going to dab a little bit of that on my brush and lightly brush it on the lower lash line and then for the inner corners I'm dying to use the shade stand up which is like a really metallic rosy color so I'm going to use that for my inner corner. So real fast, I'm going to go do some liner lashes and a quick lip. And I'm going to come back and we're going to continue on with the video. All right, everybody. So this is the completed eye look. I really do love it. It's a little over the top but I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, everybody, so this is the finished eye look. I really do love it. It's a lot, it's really over the top, but like I said in the beginning, when I first saw this palette, I wanted to play in color. Um, that's what I wanted to do, so that's what I did with this video. I hope um, it's a little all over the place. The eye, the cut crease is a little uneven, but I still like how the look came out. So before we jump any further, I'm going to go ahead really quickly and insert some swatches of the palette. This palette, I will say, swatched extremely well. Um, the pigment, out of all the Juvia's Place, I have all the Juvia's, Juvia's Place palettes except for the little mini ones she came out with because they keep selling out on me. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I have them all. Um, when it comes to pigment, this is number one for me. Out of all the Juvia Place palettes, this, the pig, the formula in here, I don't want to say it's different because I don't know for sure, but this pigment packs a punch. Um, a little goes a long way with these shades, especially when, when I was, while I was swatching them, I don't know if you guys can see, my fingers are even a little stained and I've used makeup wipes. I washed my hands like three times. My skin is so dried out right now, but it did go ahead and stain my fingers. Um, the pigment is crazy. Um, all the shades are my favorite. The most underrated shade in this palette is the shade Unshook. It looks like nothing in the pan, but when you see the swatch, it's swatch, it's such a pretty eye color. And Envy, Envy is like a duochrome. It looks white on camera, but in person it looks purple. When you swatch it, it's like a crystal. It's something real special. Um, Fire, Unsilenced, Busybody, and Love, they pack so much pigment. Um, the mattes in this palette are more on the drier side, but the pigment is uh, insane. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to show you guys the swatches really quickly. All right, everybody. So for the first round of swatches, going from left to right, we have BU, Stand Up, Fighter, Fire, Power, Unafraid, Pride, Gossip, and Rumors. For the second set of swatches, we have Yanga, Envy, Sis, Oversabi, Unsilenced, Love, Woke, Unshook, 
Pepper Body, Busy Body, and Clout. Final thoughts on this palette. I absolutely love it. I, when Juvia's Place, or was it ColourPop Cult? One of those pages had posted the palette. A few people in the comments were talking about the price. So I was one of the people, when I saw the price, I was just like, Juvia, $36? No way, but you do get 20 shades, I believe. Yeah, you get 20 shades. Three are pressed glitters. Power, Envy are definitely dual chrome. And don't get me wrong, Juvia's Paste palettes are, are pigmented. You're gonna get pigment regardless, but not like this. Um, they did say this palette is limited edition. I'm not sure. You know, some they, some some companies said that the palette will be around for months on end. So I'm not sure. But do I feel like it's worth the $36 price tag? Definitely. Um, and of course, a lot of people have uh, coupon codes, but I think that it's worth the $36. You are getting 20 shades. You're getting glitters. Do you can do so many looks with this palette. If you wanted to do a neutral look, you can use Pride. Over Sabi, Sis, Stand Up, Rumors, uh, Be You, and you have a simple, a simple everyday daytime glam look. If you want to do nighttime, you can just do a little bit of Sis and a little bit of Fire on the lid. Like you can do so many looks with this palette, or you can go all out crazy like I did. Um, I feel like it's worth the price. I don't. I, I feel like it's worth the price. It was worth the thirty six dollars. Like I said. Out of all the Julia Place palettes that I own, which is almost all of them, this is my favorite. Um, as far as the pigment, the formula, and aesthetically, it looks pretty on the eye. Picture, pictures does this palette no justice. It's so pretty in person. So, I hope you guys enjoy this eye look. I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and check out this uh, eyeshadow palette. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I absolutely love it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. Mwah.